Technology, Entertainment, Design, or TED for short, an award-winning conference format whose big idea is to spread big ideas. Hosted at the Oxford Playhouse, TEDx Oxford ran on November the 4th for its second year after it was set up in 2011, the X signifying an independently run conference event. 800 people turned up to see high-profile speakers talk about pretty much everything, from geopolitics to maths to pornography. Charles caught up with some of them to ask what they hoped to leave with their audiences. So I'm here with Penilla, and uh, could I ask you, Penilla, TEDx is about big ideas, so what is your big idea, summarised very briefly? Well, my big idea is that you have to manually today work with multiple identities. You need to have more identities when you're online to protect your original identity. That's why I call it fake it. Uh, in some ways you have to fake it to protect your original identity. The big idea I'd like to bring to TED today is the suggestion that children who are presenting with disturbed behaviours and who've been exposed to chronic lack of care have had significant changes in the structure and functioning of their brain as a result of being violated and not having enough care. What would you say your big idea, sort of in brief, is? Crazy. Um, I like what, this will sound really pretentious, but it sure says something, I'm paraphrasing badly, but every great idea starts out as a blasphemy. Yeah. And I think when it comes to classical music, I don't know if it's a big idea, it's just, it's an idea that we need to get rid of the stuff surrounding it, which doesn't yeah. really mean an awful lot. You know, the dress code, the, the crazy timings, the stupid venues, the outrageous ticket prices, and focus more on the music. One time I put my penis down on everything. <laughs> to say that um, with Make Love Not Porn I never set out to do what I'm doing now. I realise that you know we live in a world today where there is total ease and freedom of access to hardcore porn online but there is a complete lack of a counterpoint. Um, you know th there is no open healthy discussion around sex as it really is in the real world and I had the opportunity to launch um, Make Love Not Porn at TED um, and I took a deliberate decision to be very explicit in my TED talk because I knew that audience would not get this issue unless I was extremely straightforward about it and as a result the talk went viral and the response to Make Love Not Born has been extraordinary ever since. I'm the founder and president of TEDx Oxford uh, which is an independently organised TED event here in Oxford and I think the main reason that we set it up is to sort of democratise the, the, the TED experience. The TED is kind of often seen as this elitist, exclusive uh, group. Very expensive ticket price and you need to be invited to go to the event. And we kind of wanted to take that down and make it slightly more accessible to young people. And um, We've targeted this event towards 16 to 25 year olds, so we hope that we've done that. Um, we have uh, invited a range of speakers from a diverse uh, array of industries and, and I think the thing that we hope people get out of the event is uh, it's a slightly more holistic viewpoint. Um, the ability to look at different fields and disciplines that ostensibly are completely different and be able to make connections between them. So I think that that's, that's our kind of goal. Do you have favourite, like favourite speaker? Or? I like the guy playing piano. Yeah. I can't remember what his name was. And also Rory Sutherland was good as well. Yeah. One of the, uh, the metaphors that I really liked was um, the stirring of the sand in a bucket. Um, so they're things that, they're not necessarily new ideas, but it's just getting you really good oh, the Make, make love not yeah, that's was what I'm as well. That's a good idea. I'm looking forward to seeing that take off if yeah. it does. It was very funny. Yeah. She's a very good speaker. Yeah. And she's a fellow Sunderland, <laughs> so she's yeah. quite keen to get stuck no, in a new think. venture. Are you going to respond to that? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. In every single talk, there was something interesting to take away. There was something new I didn't know. And if I had to recommend it to somebody, I'd have no hesitation. I think it covers all ages. I'm very old and I loved every moment. There have been well over 2,500 independently run TEDx events so far, and today's TEDx in Oxford has been a welcome addition. The sheer breadth of topics covered shows the real interdisciplinary instinct at the heart of these events, and given the response that today's sold out show has received, it would seem that these most certainly are ideas worth spreading. This is Zinfan reporting for Chowell Online. <laughs>